Yesterday I talked to you about uh, the fact that we have the Word of God and, and we start talking about what faith is and we're going to continue to talk about what faith is because there's two parts to faith. There's two parts to faith. The Bible says here in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for. That's what we talked about yesterday. The substance of things hoped for. The substance is the Word of God and we believe the Word of God to be absolutely true, but then there's a second part to faith and he says the conviction of things not seen so not only is it the truth of the word of God that we totally believe we believe every single bit of it and that is the substance of our faith but it's also the conviction of things that are not seen the conviction of things that are not seen and he goes on and gives an example of that uh, of Abel and he says in verse 4 of Hebrews chapter 11 he says by faith Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain by faith Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain. Now that wasn't his intent. His intent wasn't to outdo Cain. His intent was to be honorable to God. And so when Abel gave that sacrifice, he simply gave it by faith and saying, God, this is for you. I am giving this to you as a sacrifice and I'm giving it to you in faith. Now, by faith, he did it. And by faith, he didn't know that it was a better sacrifice. But by faith, he, he didn't even know how God was going to honor that sacrifice, how God was going to bless that sacrifice, but faith is the conviction of things not seen. The conviction of things not seen. Now, I'm sitting in a chair right now. And when I sat down in this chair, I've sat down in this very chair many times. Many times I've sat down in this chair. But you know, the very first time, in fact, I put this chair together. And so that, that ought to be questionable right then and there. But I put this chair together. But you know, I have never questioned whether or not this chair is going to hold my weight. I've, I've never gotten in this chair right before I get in. I shake it a little bit. You know, I, I, I twist it. I turn it a little bit. I try it out a little bit. Say, you know, is this chair going to really hold my faith? Is this chair going to really hold me up? You know what I do every time I sit in this chair? It's just like every time I sit in another chair or any other other chair unless it you know looks real shady I, I just sit right down in it I don't question it I don't even think about it I just sit right down in it, it is a conviction of things not seen it's a chair it looks sturdy it looks like a good chair therefore without even thinking about it I just sit right down in it because my unseen conviction is that it's going to hold my way now friends when I asked Jesus to forgive me of my sin I didn't see him forgive me of of my sins. Matter of fact, I don't even see Jesus. Never laid eyes upon Jesus, but I believe him. I believe he's real. I believe he's with me. I believe he leads me. Never seen the Holy Spirit, but I believe he's in me. I believe he's with me. I believe that. Now, I haven't seen him forgive me of my sins, but I know he has. Why? Because the word of God says, first of all, he will. And when I asked him, even though I didn't see it, there's a conviction of things hoped for. And I have no doubt that he saved me and that he set me free from my sins and that he removed my sins as far as the east is from the west. I didn't see it, but I believe it. First of all, the word of God says that he will. The second of all, I have faith and the conviction in my heart of the things unseen. You see conviction. It's something that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. Somebody came up to me and said, you're not Rusty Coon, you're, you're Donald Trump. <laughs> I know I'm not Donald Trump, and quite frankly, I wouldn't want to be Donald Trump. I know I'm Rusty Coon. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm Rusty Coon. I'm not anybody else. I'm Rusty Coon. I have that conviction and that absolute assurance in me that I know who I am. I am saved. I am bought with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. My sins have been forgiven and I am bound for glory. And Jesus walks with me every single step of the way. And the Holy Spirit of God is within me, guiding me and leading me into all truth. I haven't seen any of those things. But I know they're true. 
Now, when I first place my faith in Jesus, I don't see it. The result of it will come to fulfillment and it will eventually be seen. The anger I once had is now gone. The hatred in my heart I once had is now gone. The lust for the things of the world is now gone. I'm beginning to see those things and they're, they're starting to come to fulfillment. But when I first accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, it was a simple act of faith. Jesus, I believe you and I receive you and I accept you. Those things will come to fulfillment. But at the moment of faith, it's unseen. It is the conviction of things not seen. I know that I know that I know, and God's word is always true. Do you have that conviction? Do you have that calm assurance? If not, trust in him today. Turn to him today. He is always, always, always faithful to his word. This chair could fail me one day. I've had chairs fail me before. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He'll never fail you. Trust in him. Believe on him. That's good news. And I pray that you'll share this good news, share this video so others can hear it and receive it. And what time is it? It's time to share the gospel.